हेलो बच्चो लेट फिट द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज डेट द वैल्यू ऑफ करेंट इन द सिक्स होम रेजिस्टेंस इज सो वील सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील सी वॉट विल बी द की कंसेप्ट इज टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन द की कंसेप्ट डेट विल बी इज टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी के चौफ करेंट लॉ के सी एन दैट इज के चौफ के चौफ करेंट लॉ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू के चौफ करेंट लॉ एट एनी जंक्शन और एट एनी पॉइंट सम ऑफ ऑल द करेंट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ we will see if we take this point at zero potential that it if we orthen this point then the voltage here will be zero here it will also be zero and all are connected with a wire so here it will also be zero now we can see that between this point and this point there is a potential difference of 90 volt so here the potential will be 90 volt at this is positive side and Here similarly a potential difference is one forty volt. So here the potential will be one forty volt. Now we will call the point this point potential edge V and the point is P. Now we will see at point P applying KCL applying. KCL that is switch off current law at point P we will have V minus zero by six this is the current flowing that is V minus zero V minus zero by six because current I is equal to delta V by R delta V is the potential difference and R is the resistance so in this wire there will be a current flowing that is delta V V minus zero by R is six ohm. And in this wire, it will be V minus ninety by five. So plus V minus ninety by five, and similarly plus V minus one forty by twenty. So this will be V minus one forty by twenty. These will be the three currents flowing through this point P. So this all the sum will be equal to zero. Sum of all the currents will be equal to zero. So this will be equal to zero. So from here, solving we will have ten V plus twelve V minus one thousand eighty plus three V minus four twenty is equal to zero, or we will have V is equal to sixty. So the potential of this point P will be sixty volt. Now we have to find the current in the six ohm resistor. So that will be the current in the six ohm resistor I in six ohm that will be equal to V minus zero by six. So that will be sixty by six, which is equal to ten ampere. So the current in six ohm resistor will be ten ampere, which is option C. Hope you all understood it well. Best of luck.